Hello and welcome to Sunflowers and Doors. My name is Mandy. Um, really good to have you with me today. Um, today all I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make some kind of, uh, I suppose um, you call them pockets with um, extras. Uh, and we're going to use the Tim Holtz series. Um, these are the 16 squares, so they're the 3 by 3 um, and they come in a lot of the 12 by 12 Tim Holtz pads. This one's the Wallflower. Um, the Memorandum, I haven't been able to get hold of for a while. That used to come in the same, <coughs> excuse me, same type of format. Um, and sometimes it's really hard to know what to do with these. Um, while I was following a series from Corey um, Damon from Creating with Scraps, uh, she did a series uh, and, and focused one of the episodes just on what to do with these uh, particular pieces. Um, one of the um, examples she gave I use quite a lot, uh, and that's the one we're going to have a quick look at today. So I'm going to start off by cutting our papers and all I'm going to do is cut them um, by their sizes. I'm going to open this a second because I always seem to get a little bit. So that's a nine, which means that should be cut there, but it's not going to. Okay, I think that's okay. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're slightly over or slightly under. It's um, it's just the activity um, that you're doing. So size isn't really, really important as such. <clears throat> what I've done, I've cut two into um, sections of four, and I've cut two into sections of four, but. The one set is, is in a four cube bulk and the second set is in a strip of four. <clears throat> Got some more paper here um, because we'll probably be making some more. Well, I will definitely be making some more today. Um, so, <clears throat> a couple of ideas for these ones. This one here, as I said, Corey um, created a... It was kind of like a, um, a pocket, but um, it had a... a, a journal card inside and another pocket on the front and <clears throat> excuse me some bits and pieces on the back so you can actually do um, a lot with that kind of thing uh, and all she did was literally fold these over now because I want a really nice um, tight crease I'm just going to store them you certainly don't need to um, but I'm going to do it just as I said because I want a, a tight crease on these So we are going to fold these in half. Um, okay. Now be mindful, obviously, of your directional um, stuff. This one here has got a bird in it, um, and it's got another bird there, but they're both the same direction or the same facing the same way. This one, um, oh, that's the same as well, and I quite like that one. So I think we'll go with this as our front cover on that. So I've turned that over and I'm just going to go over and make sure that that fits. And with this one here, um, we can either have these uh, gorgeous greens, I'm not overly fussed on that one there, or we can go with these blue tits and some nesting stuff on the back, which is what I'm going to go with, I think. Um, so the lesson is make sure when you score you know which side you're going to use because I've just made it really difficult for myself um, I'm having to rescore <clears throat> and these are really really simple projects you need to decide what you want as your front what you want as your back um, these are going to be my friends and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little um, punch hole here 
just so that we can pull our um, cards out easily. Now that's not, you know, mandatory. Uh, you can definitely do uh, a tag on the actual or a tab on the actual card. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and that will do the same job. And the reason I'm doing it now is because I am going to be folding this uh, over so I, <coughs> it's going to be easier to cut it while we are open. Okay, so there are two pieces. I'm just going to quickly ink around them. I love this green. I love this kit. Um, but the greens are absolutely gorgeous. Really, really um, naturey. I think the, the, the whole kit actually, there's only a few bits and pieces in there that I don't particularly like. Um, and surprisingly, they're some of my favourite colours, so I'm not overly fussed on that particular pattern. Um, but as I said, the great thing is they're, they're covered on both sides, so you can choose what's going to be on display and what's not. Okay, so we know that these are three by six inches. Um, there are four squares. We are literally going to be folding these over and we are going to be gluing this section here together. Really, really easy. So I'll just do that now quickly. And try to get as close to the bottom and edge um, of the card because if you're going to put a tag in these then you really don't want um, there to be loads of restrictions with the glue. Okay, and I'm just going to top up the ink on that one. Okay. And I'm going to repeat the same process. See, that's really nice as well, but it's just that one there that puts me off. So... We're going to stick with what we said we'd go with. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Lovely. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So we've got our two bases. Um, and what you'll do with these, you can use them as a bookmark or you can attach it to a page. Um, and we'll, we'll run through some of that a little bit later on. But at the moment, this is the, the main shape we've got here. What we do want to do, what we do want to do, is that correct English? I'm not sure. Is we want to add a pocket. And we want to add perhaps a belly band. Um, and perhaps even a tag to go on the inside. So I don't, I would normally put a pocket here, but I don't want to cover this part. And if I put the pocket up here, it's not really um, going to be particularly tall to allow me to um, put, you know, longer things in. So excuse the ink. Um, so I think I'm going to do the pocket on this side and I'm going to do a belly band on this side. And we're going to do a tag to go inside. So we have got our papers here. Um, and I think those two would probably go well with that set. And these two possibly with that set. So just give those a quick cut. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm liking that for that as well. Loads of choice. We'll come back to that. So I think what I'm going to do with this particular one here is I'm going to use this 
as the journaling card to go inside. So we know that the inside of our paper is three inches um, and we know we've glued some. So I'm going to start off with two and three quarter inches um, just to see what that looks like. See if that will fit. And I'm going to take about I don't know, a quarter of an inch off the bottom of that as well. Let's see if this fits in here. If not, we'll just take a little bit more off. Now, already I can feel the resistance on the one side um, where the um, glue has been. It will fit. I don't really want to force it. So I'm going to take a tiny bit more off. Perhaps another quarter inch. And hopefully that would be a much better fit. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to, I don't want to waste um, the pieces that I cut off here. Um, and I'm going to put those, I think, on here. We could put them as a tab that you can hold and pull out. Um, that might be a nice idea. So just going to ink around this before we decide. Um, and the other thing, actually, thinking about it, it might be an idea to uh, round the corners on this a bit. It'll make going in and out of the pocket a lot easier. Let's give it a go. So, just going to quickly... Oh, I don't know what it is with this ink pad, but I always end up with this sh stupid... Um, blotch all over. Okay, I'm gonna put a tiny bit of glue on this if I can even lift it up. And I'm gonna just pop that on here like that. And if we want to use that for um, a bookmark, that's pretty um, good to go as it is. But if we want to use it um, as a journal card, then I'm just going to quickly back this. Uh, we do lose some of that lovely paper, but um, and I've run out of glue. Let me one second. Okay. You put way too much glue on that and it will probably make it buckle and bubble. Not too bad. And what um, you can do to stable it a little bit more if you wanted to put the reverse um, one of those things on the reverse, then you can do that as well. So let's just cut around this. Gosh, the weather's really, really, really windy today. I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, I don't know if the microphone's picking it up or not, but Gosh, it is. I'm glad I don't have to go out anywhere and I can stay in my um, PJs pretty much, which isn't a good thing, I know, but it's still the holiday, so I will allow myself a little bit of a luxury. It's it weird going back to work um, after having so much time off and um, but I suppose with the COVID restrictions, we don't really know either at the moment, do we, what's going to happen there? So, 
um, everything's still up in the air a bit. Which is okay, I suppose it keeps us safe. Okay, so that's a little bit bendy at the moment, but we will, uh, that will straighten out once we put it in. You can stitch around this as well if you want to, that adds a little bit of extra stability um, and a little bit extra interest. But I'll do that later if I'm going to do it. So that would be our uh, journal card, which would literally, literally just pop out of there. Okay, as I said, I don't really want to cover this area here, so I'm going to um, put a belly band across here. Now, I've got some pieces of card that I was using yesterday um, that I may get away with using without having to um, start a new piece. Let's have a look. I know this is a completely different um, pattern and you're wondering whether or not this is going to clash hugely uh, and it probably will but I'm going to cut that straight again after. Okay. So I'm literally going to cut, is that almost like a line I can follow on here? So I'm going to cut that and I am going to ink it which will darken it automatically. And I'm thinking that I could put that as a belly band there. Or am I cutting corners? Should I be using the actual same material? I just don't want to, I don't really want to cut into more of it, but. Um, but I'm not sure of that. Okay, let's bear with that at the moment. Um, I've also got some bits and pieces here where I would like to, I think, put a bit of a pocket. Or do we go with a tech spot? I think I'm going to go with a tech spot on this one and I'm going to cut it from about here. And we're literally just going to go down. And if I use the same colour for front and back, it might blend it in a little bit more. I mean, as it is, it's a multi-coloured piece of um, card anyway, so it's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here. And again, here, and this will be our tech spot. And, which doesn't look too bad actually, and I'm going to go with this for our belly band on the front. Okie dokie. We don't want it too high, so I think that there is quite a nice fit. Okay, so we've got our um, piece here um, with a tech spot on the front, at uh, the back, a belly band, band uh, start again, belly band on the front, and we've got a full pocket in here with a journaling card that we've added. So this one here, same principle, but we're going to do a slightly different uh, version. So I'm going to use this, I think, for my tag. Uh, I like that. So let's just cut some of this down. We want to keep hold of those butterflies. So I'm not going to cut too much. It doesn't feel straight, but... But that's okay. Cut a little bit of the length down as well. So hopefully this should fit in here again quite nicely without too much resistance, which it does. Great. 
Um, so again, I'm going to do the same principle. I'm going to use this as my tag. Um, I think we'll use the, put that on the back. And again, I'm going to ink around. Oh, let's cut the corners first because I did like it with the corners, the anchor. So I hope you're all well and still enjoying the festivities. Sounds like, um, well, it feels like Christmas was weeks away or weeks ago now. It's always funny, isn't it, how fast time flies. Um, but at this point, I am not sure on the camera at this, the um, video is going to go up. But at this point, we are still uh, waiting on the new year. So, again, I'm just going to back this. So, anybody got any plans for the new year? Uh, we did think about going out for a meal because uh, there's only a couple of us. But do you know what? I just the thought of just staying in, grabbing some nice food to cook, that's a given, and then just staying in, relaxing, fire on, and uh, chilling. That is probably my idea of a perfect night in. Uh, which sounds really, really boring, I know, sorry. Uh, I think when you pass a certain age, boring is becomes the new comfortable. I you know, I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't do with the whole um, going out and about. and It's just crazy out there. And of course, you never really know what's going on either, because, you know, the world isn't probably as safe as it used to be. Um... Although that's quite a discussion point that me and the family have quite often. Whether or not it's just that it's getting worse or whether or not we're just more aware of things. But either way, um, I'm not sure I'd want to be a youngster growing up in this craziness. Okay, just to the back again. Bad. And again, as I said, if you want to um, stitch it, stitch it. Um, if you want to put a, a thicker piece of card on, then put a thicker piece of card on. Um, you can also add your tags. Um, you can add charms, tabs and all sorts um, of lovely things. And it will probably look quite nice, actually, with a charm on. Um, and once it's inside, that just dangling on the outside slightly, I think that would look really, really good. Um, but I'm not going to do that in today's uh, tutorial just because I haven't prepared for it. And um, I'm trying to cut some of these sessions down so that they are not quite as long as some of my last ones have been. Okay, so... Again, that goes in there. Still feel the um, ink's a little bit wet on that. I'm going to leave that for five while we decorate this. So um, with this one, I was thinking of using some uh, vellum. And I've got some nice vellum here with um, some lettering on, which is quite nice. So I was thinking if we cut up here. And then I'm going to cut just below that crease line because I don't really want that to show. Gosh, that's the wind. Literally, it's really, 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 really strong today. Is that a thing? Really, 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 really? I'm not sure. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, and you can still see uh, the picture from the inside. So I'm just going to add some glue to this. Um, now vellum and glue don't seem to go particularly well in my book um, because the vellum just seems to crease up. 
So I find the key is the moment you get it down, spread it out, um, but it's still not the best. So if anybody has any tips on the best type of glues to use with vellum, then I would really be interested in uh, knowing. So if you drop them in the comments, that would be awesome. I shouldn't be using these scissors when I just use glue. Oh, okay. So we have got a vellum pocket on the back of this one. Um, we could do a vellum belly band on the front of this, which I think might feel nice, but obviously a lot smaller. So we will go with that. And I think, again, I think this is the Tim Holtz wool, wool how do you say, wool flower, wool flower um, kit, vellum kit. Um, it is lovely. Uh, I just don't tend to use vellum that often. So I'm trying to use up my stash because I seriously need to create some more space. Oh, I've done that as a pocket now. It's clever. Not a belly band. Okie dokie, that's not the end of the world. Okay, it's a little bit offside. I don't know whether that is. Oh gosh, that's really stuck now. Oh. Mm. It's better. So we've got a pocket instead of a belly band. Um, but again, you know, these pieces are so versatile, you can do exactly what you want to do with them. And, um, and that's the joy of it, you know. This is still, I can feel the glue, I think I put a bit too much glue on this one and I can feel it still a little bit tacky. Um, I need to put a little bit there, just a little dot. Okay, and there are our two pieces. Um, as I said, you can use these in a number of different ways. You can configure them however you want. Um, what I like to do sometimes is just attach it with a clip um, into a, a journal because you've obviously got access then to the front and the back. You can just literally put it in a journal as a bookmark of its own with um, a tech spot and a journal card inside. If you wanted to attach it to the... Um, to the page itself um, that's another option and even though you lose the back the tech or the pocket whatever you've put in there if you attached it just down perhaps the left side and across the bottom you'd have a really nice big um, tech spot there that you could use so you're not going to miss out on that and then again if you attach it across the top you've got a nice um, pocket whoops, pocket that you can use as well so they're really really multifunctional and you can do so much with them um, they are great pieces um, and to see examples of the other kinds of things uh, that Corey did with these then just pop over to her creating with scraps um, series and you will uh, see what she's done if you want to embellish these further then um, what I tend to do is wait until I decide what kind of journal they're going to go in um, these colors are pretty um, neutral for the journals that I create I tend to go with these types of colors so um, if I then wanted to add some perhaps a cluster or um, some lace then you know you can do that to your heart's content once you know what you're do doing and what um, what you're going to use them for. But they are the two six by three uh, multi pockets, journal card, checks, whatever you want to um, call them. Lots and lots of different uses for those. OK, and the next thing I want to do is I'm going to cap this so that we have two pieces of two which again means that they are three by six. Just move these over slightly. So three by six and three by six. Uh, again, choose what you want to be your front and what you want to be your back. G 
just be very mindful that we're going to be flipping these over. So for me, I don't actually have much of a choice. I'm going to have to flip this one over here like that. And that is going to be um, means that this is right directional. Um, this one isn't, but we're going to be covering that anyway, so that's not the end of the world. And exactly the same with this one. To have that in the right direction, we're going to have to flip this piece over here, which again isn't a bad thing because I love that colour green on the back and that pattern there. So we've got two pieces here. Um, now you can do a number of things with these. They now are three by three um, fold overs, so you could just potentially um, pop those over the top page of your um, journal and you could use it as almost like a kind of bookmark to know where you've uh, written up to. Um, so that's an option. The other option is that we turn it into a little um, notebook. And I have papers that I used yesterday um, in a project. And these are the leftover coffee dyed papers. So I am going to just make a little note. Let me find my pen. A little note here as to where I want to cut them. Just use the cutter and do that quick. So we've got these that we can attach in here and we're going to have ourselves a nice little um, notebook. Now I am going to stitch these, um, bear with me two seconds. Okay, so just giving these a quick stitch, take off the excess thread. And these are going to be glued down here. My glue is starting, reminds me to put the pin in. I use quite a lot of glue because of the stitching. I don't really want it to um, come through to the other side, but in the same breath, I don't really want it not to stick. Okay, so we're just going to attach this here. There. Now that again could still sit over your page, journal page, um, or you can attach this to your journal. Um, you could attach this down the left hand side and across the bottom and give yourself a tech spot and then that will open up and give you a journal space. You can put a pocket inside here. You can even put a hidden pocket underneath here. Um, but that is just a simple, basic um, book, um, notebook from some of the uh, 16 by 16 or 16 three by threes um, that you get in the, the Tim Holtz series. Again, if you want to embellish that, put some um, lace on the front. <coughs> Um, a nice little cluster by here. Loads and loads of choice for that one. Okay, for this one, I think, hmm, think, 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 think. I think for this one, I'm going to be a little bit, and you may think this is a tiny bit wasteful, but I think I am going to do a hidden paper clip. Now I'm using this card only because I've got it next to me. Um, it isn't something that I would encourage because the inside piece of card, sorry, I'm walking around trying to find a uh, paper clip. I know I've got some somewhere. Um, there we go, yeah. So as I said, I wouldn't use this particularly um, by choice because it's a good piece of paper card, but you, know, you can even use paper. Um, you can use paper, you can use just 
wherever she card, whatever you want to use. And all I'm doing at the moment is I'm popping that over there, just like that. I'm going to take these corners off because they can be a little bit problematic. Like that. And I'm going to do the same on this. I'm going to take these corners off. And I'm just going to ink around the edges. Okay, 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 okay. So that's good to go. I am going to grab some of these bits and pieces that I had left over. I don't think I'm going to be able to do much with that one, um, but I can do something. So I'm just going to cut off this white edge. I'm going to put it by here. I am going to cut off this piece here. I'm going to cut off the edge there and there, and again ink around the corner. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to glue this on here. Um, I'm going to glue it as a pocket rather than a tech spot, um, just purely because this is going to be pulled from pillar to post if you're going to use it as a hidden paper clip. So I don't really want too much damage to this so if we do it as a pocket then it can take a little bit more uh, wear and tear gosh it's dry so quick it's crazy okay so there's our little pocket and what we're going to do with this is we are going to glue down the one side and again, you know, good idea to use quite a lot of glue on this because uh, you really don't want this coming in stuck. Okay, so we put a bit of glue on that one side, a bit, a lot. And we're just going to put that in the middle of our inside card. And then we are going to do exactly the same. We're going to put some glue on the outside of this one, or the inside rather, inside of the paper clip, outside of the uh, internal bits. So again, you know, a lot of glue, just be careful you don't stick this top piece to the bottom. And again, we're just going to hold that in place for a couple of seconds um, because we want that to stick okay and if you notice then what we're left with is this kind of result and if you feel as though it hasn't stuck in you know where you want it to stick just add a little bit more glue that's doable um, and literally all you're going to do with this is you are going to put it over the top of the page and that but there's no way that's coming off that's your hidden paper clip so we've got a hidden paper clip with a pocket on the back and nothing other than that really pretty picture on the front. Um, and again, as I said, you can embellish that further. I tend to put a little bit of lace on. <clears throat> to be honest, I would probably put a little bit of lace on here on top of some card as a belly band, um, just so you've got an extra piece in there. But I don't want to lose any of that. Um, image because it you know it really would be a shame it's really pretty uh, you could do the same on this you know this is a lovely little pocket for some tags or um, tickets or, or whatever but again another two uses for the um, Tim Holtz 12 by 12 16 square um, pieces so yeah we've got our bookmarks, our pockets, our texts, our multifunctional piece. We've got our notebook and we've got our hidden paper clip. And that's all from one piece of um, the Tim Holtz 12 by 12 card. Uh, so yeah, I hope you, that was useful. I hope you, um, you will have a go. 
Um, it really is great just trying to think about different ways in which you can use uh, some of the stash that you've got. Um, and these, again, would be perfect. They're ready to go into any journal now. So, yeah. Okie dokie. Well, that's it for today. Um, I hope you stay safe. Um, and until I catch up with you again, take care for now.